What is up everyone? Alright, welcome back to another video on the Pointless YouTube channel. And listen, alright, in today's video we definitely have some more interesting stuff to go over, let's just say, because, uh, well, uh, we, we got another TikTok story to cover that's, uh, very dark. Now, you know, uh, I've been looking into these TikTok situations and, uh, how dark TikTok can get. You know, TikTok definitely has some decent content, I mean, they have some scary stories and some things that may, you know, intrigue you. But you also have a side of this app that is, uh, honestly disgraceful and, uh, well, to say the least, it can get very, 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 very bad. And a prime example of that is the case we're going to be talking about today. Because, uh, let's just say something really, really terrible and unfortunate ended up happening with, uh, a, a guy who has a TikTok account. Who decided to not only harass his neighbors for TikTok content, but, uh, well, sadly take the life of one of his neighbors. Simply because the family he was harassing, uh, their, their husband decided to defend his family and stand up for them. And, well, it ended in tragedy. Now, trust me. I mean, this is gonna get crazy, so make sure to stick to the end because you're definitely not gonna want to miss any, and I mean any part of this story. If you guys don't mind, go ahead and leave a like on the video because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will definitely want to hear about this story, and you doing that will honestly get a lot more people to see it. Also, if you're interested in more TikTok related content or just me reacting to anything in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers, and you doing that would mean the world to me. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now, as you all know, TikTok is uh, honestly not a new app at all. The things that go on on this app aren't surprising at all. I mean, it, it has a lot of ups and downs. I mean, it has some good stuff, some bad stuff. But recently, it's been nothing but bad. I mean, you got crazy challenges, you got crazy people, and uh, stuff just getting worse and worse on the app as the days go on. And well, it's honestly been uh, taking a extreme turn for the worse, especially with the recent uh, actions of people standing, you know, serial killers. But the thing about this story that makes it so incredibly different and just so much more worse than what a another story would possibly be is is that this man not only, you know, took the life of someone, he pretty much stalked and preyed on the people, you know, he was going after, and it's just honestly horrible. Like, I kid you not, he sat there for months and months on end documenting these people on TikTok for views. Now, you may be asking, who exactly is this person you're talking about, Mr. Pointless? And, uh, well, let me explain and tell you who this man is. Now, his name is Zachary Latham, and, uh, well, let's just say he has a pretty interesting history or track record. He loves cars, and, uh, well, he had a car in specific that will, uh, come into play later on into this story. But to say the least, this guy, uh, seemed fairly innocent. I mean, he was already a menace to his neighbors, which, uh, you guys will understand later on once I, uh, you know, represent all the evidence. But long story short, this guy, uh, started to, uh, be a menace to society, and, uh, well, it, it, it led him down a very dark path. Now, long story short, this guy, uh, somehow got into TikTok. I'm not quite sure how he did, but, uh, he did end up getting into it, and, well, he decided, hmm, what's the best way to get views, you know, besides doing something completely stupid or cringy like dancing. So Zachary decided to go ahead and uh, harass his neighbors in an interesting way by revving his car, doing other things to annoy them, and uh, while calling the mom or the wife of the, the family next door to him a uh, Karen. So what he would do is, you know, bother them in multiple ways, uh, different shapes and forms, and uh, he would basically do that to, you know, get on their nerves for TikTok reactions, and uh, well, this definitely did good for him because he got millions and millions of views, and uh, well, you know, when you get a million million viewed video, you want to follow up with something similar to keep that train going, and well, he did just that, and that led to him harassing this family even more. And it got so bad to the point where the police got involved, and well, not much happened, so he continued to be a menace to society and harass this family. And well, obviously, if some guy keeps harassing you for TikTok views, uh, it's going to annoy you at some point, so this family got very, very annoyed and uh, hostile. And well, uh, let's just say this was starting to begin uh, the, the down fall of the situation and the, uh, you know, the, the unfortunate event that ended up happening. Now, before I read exactly what happened from an article, I just want you guys to get an idea of how bad this Zachary guy was when it comes to, you know, harassing this family. He was extremely, extremely horrible and annoying, and I mean, from what you will be seeing in the video I'm going to display or show you guys, it, it's, it's bad. Like, extremely bad to the point where he genuinely had to paint the mom as a Karen, even though he didn't explain how he was harassing harassing this family for, I mean, a year, months, I, I think it was almost a year, like, it was so long that he would just relentlessly bother this family. What are you gonna do, Karen? That's not my name, so get my name straight. Go ahead. I'll you okay, you Karen? Tag. Go ahead, get my tag. Let's go. Get my tag, Karen. My name is not Karen, so get my name straight. Get my tag, it's okay.
Like, you can literally just tell by that little clip, which isn't even the entire video yet, that this guy is just extremely, extremely a, a bad person who doesn't care about anyone but himself. Especially just analyzing the way that he goes about this entire thing. He isn't even trying to be a logical person. He's just screaming out, Karen, Karen, Karen. Like, especially in a situation where the police are involved. At least give full context. Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all how, how this just completely went under the radar. Like, the police were involved before a life was taken which is honestly insane and they didn't even notice all because my car is loud three cop cars i'm calling the cops on you that's good That last clip was uh, moments before, you know, the, the tragic event ended up happening. It, it's it's sad that this even happened. Like, it, this should not happen on TikTok. The fact that we live in an era where people will do anything, and I mean literally anything for clout, is ridiculous. But uh, without all me talking, let's go ahead and uh, read what exactly transpired and uh, how it went. A teenager in New Jersey is accused of escalating a family feud with a neighbor, which ended violently in order to become TikTok famous, attorneys for the victim's family said. Zachary T. Latham, 18, is accused of stabbing William T. Timmy Durham to death following a months-long dispute proliferated on social media, according to NJ.com. On May 4th, Latham allegedly swerved his vehicle at the Durham's 17-year-old son, who was riding his bicycle in the neighborhood, the outlet said. Latham was later confronted by Durham and his wife, who filmed the encounter, as there had been several tense confrontations between the two families in the past months. Just based off of that right there, you can tell that he was escalating it just for TikTok views. It, it makes no sense. Why would you go and try to, you know, potentially harm a, a, a kid for a million TikTok views, bro? Like, are you serious? You're not gonna get paid off of that. It, it, even if you were, it's not worth risking taking someone's life, especially being that he ended up doing that. You know, the fact that things like this happens, it hurts, man. And, and I, I, I genuinely don't know how this stuff has even come to exist in our era. Like, a TikTok clout, every sort of clout just does anything to anybody. It will genuinely drive people insane, dude. Like, they they will genuinely go out of their way, risk their freedom, risk another person's life strictly to be known by by like a, a max few thousand people. I can't wrap my head around it at all, but I just want to say before I end off the video, condolences to the Durhams, man. That is that is honestly horrible. Like this this situation is something that's genuinely sickening. But you know that's the end of the video. I hope you guys learned something from this and just understand that TikTok isn't as good as it seems. It's a honestly sinister app. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and if you do decide to uh, drop a like. Like, make sure to subscribe as well because I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.